Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our season five. Uh, so I've gone around uh, because Top Litz, they left the skeletons out. There's not skeletons, the scarecrows out for another week. I went around, I hit all the different towns, uh, villages and stuff looking for the skeletons. Um, I, have, I didn't count the skeletons. I don't remember how many I picked up. Uh, but from what I'm hearing, there's like 25 skeletons or something like that. I don't know why I keep calling them skeletons. Uh, there's like 25 uh, scarecrows to where you can go and loot them for different uh, goods and, and items and things. Um, in my travels, I also hit several of the random loot carts and stuff that you can find around the map. And he ended up with quite a bit of stuff. Um... I, matter of fact, I had to sell some of it in my travels because I became encumbered. So I, I sold some of the stuff that I really didn't need to keep. But um, I did get almost all iron tools. Uh, the only thing I didn't get was an iron knife. I didn't find an iron knife while I was out. But I got all iron tools. I found an iron crossbow and an, uh, three iron bolts, which I'm going to, I've got the iron crossbow crossbow equipped now but i am keeping the recurve bow on me along with the copper arrows as a backup as a just in case uh let's see we've got the felt hat i got my fur boots and stuff i got an extra fur hood i want to sell uh i've got my extra bows here that i also want to try and sell i don't know if i can sell this stolen one or not but we'll see uh, I've got an extra pair of boots here that I'm going to sell because I've already got boots. See, I got I bought the fur boots before I ended up uh, going out and, and looting all those scarecrows. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I got a quilted vest. I've equipped it. So we now have our cold protection, as you can see down here in the bottom right corner, at 100%. Uh, we got our thick gloves that we bought and everything, and of course the trousers that I had purchased as well, I believe. Uh, but we've got some stuff that I'm going to sell. I thought I had, I thought I had a pair of, of a different pair of pants that I could sell. Let me, let me double check here. No, I must have accidentally put them in here, maybe. Yep, there they are. I was going to sell those those joined hoes. Now, what I want to do uh, before we head out, you can see on the uh, top right hand side of the screen, we have chapter eight quest, a big game. Uh, it also required a bow. Uh, excuse me, I just bumped my mic because I'm talking with my hands. Uh, but anyway, it did require a bow. But as soon as I pulled those bows out of my storage and put them in my inventory, it did count as credit for the quest. Uh, and I can show you here in this. You can see right there, one of one on the bow. So as soon as I put it in my, the bow from my storage in my inventory, it counted. So now all we have to do is we need to hunt one moose, one wisent, and one bear, um, which is going to give us 2000, it looks like 2001 dynasty reputation. Interesting that it's 2001. Uh, and then, of course, it's going to bring our max development stage to village and a building limit of 45. Now, I've already got my building limit set at 200%, I believe. So I'm already at a building limit of 70. You can see it right here. I have 15 of 70. So I've got plenty of building limit. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. I want to make the bronze because uh, we're going to do... Let's see. Let's in. So there's two bronze there. I think it takes two bronze bars for each 10 bolts because I'm making uh, bronze bolts. So we're going to pick that up. So I need to have eight. I need to have eight more bronze bars. Let's pull that. Go here. We're just going to turn the, we'll turn the whole thing into bronze. Because now that we've gotten to bronze, uh, I'll probably, once tools and things like that start wearing out for villagers, I, I want to try and continue making bronze tools for them. 
because the bronze tools are going to last longer than the copper tools. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go over here. The anvil where we can do this. Copper, bronze weapons, spear, arrow, bolt. Can I buy it? Yes, I can. We're going to press R to buy the bronze bolt. And I should be able to make five sets, which will give me 50 bronze bolts. And there we go, 50 bronze bolts. Now I do have the three iron bolts on me, which I'm probably gonna try and use. Matter of fact, let's see here. If we go into inventory, oh, I've got a skill in farming, uh, but I've only got one point. And I'm gonna kinda hold on to it because I've already got three in farming knowledge and three in skilled farmer, which gives me extra knowledge and then extra items when I you know, uh, harvest the items from the fields. Uh, I could go with Careful Farmer, which gives me uh, slower durability, loss of farming tools, but I'm really... Farming tools aren't that big of a deal. I mean, I've, I've got plenty of materials right now to keep from having to use points in Careful Farmer right now. So I'm going to hold on to this point, because at some point we're going to be able to build the stable and get a horse or a donkey, and I would like to be able to take the... Uh, village whistleblower, which you know, which you could whistle to summon your mount, um, which would be really nice. And then eventually we will start, you know, once we get in a horse to ride or a donkey to ride, then we can take uh, the carry weight and the night rider. Well, so I'm going to hold on to that point. So that little star may be bugging some people, and I apologize. Uh, but anyway, we were comparing. Damage. So the recurve bow did 45 damage. Look at that. Recurve bow does 45 damage. The iron crossbow does 70 damage. It's almost double just between the two bows. Uh, and then the bolt also does 70 damage. The iron bolt does 70 damage. The copper, no, bronze bolt is 60 damage, so it's not that much different. How much how much damage does the Copper Arrow do? See, the Copper Arrow does 35 damage. So, like, we could probably use the Copper, the, the arrows for, like, smaller game, um, because we can usually one-shot some smaller game, but, like, deer and the larger game, probably going to need to try and use the crossbow. All right, so, uh, let's see, we'll that there. I have extra copper bars, which I'm going to drop. Bronze bars I'm going to drop. Got extra sticks and feathers, which I'll go put in storage. Now we've also got upgrade buildings available as well. Uh, so I'm going to have to get, start gathering some more um, logs so we can actually start upgrading some of these buildings. Wooden plate, wooden vial. All right, drop the plate in there. Wooden vial, we'll just put it in there for now. I don't need those. I've got water on me. I've got a water skin on me as well in case we get that quest that the person wants a drink. Uh, because I did find a water skin while I was out looting scarecrows. Uh, we've got three meals on me. Uh, I've already made meals and I've adjusted the firewood for town uh, for my because I have three villagers now. Right? Three? I think I have three. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I have three. There we go. So we've got a lumberjack, a hunter, and a farmer. Uh, now, my farmer is really slow, so I actually went through because I wanted to make sure to get carrots in the ground this season. So I went through last night in the dark, and I did three rows of carrots. And I'm going to let him play with the rest of this field because he started laying all of this. But he's laying from, well, I'm assuming, what is that? He's laying north to south, and I've laid every, I've set everything up to be east to west. So he doesn't like that, apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm hoping that once we get this all filled up and done, then he'll just plant the way it needs to be planted, hopefully. 
Alrighty, so we got our crossbow. Let's equip a bolt. There we go. Now we are going to go out and see if we can complete this uh, big game. I do have one more thing on here. I do have some health potions. So I've got three potions of healing one, which is uh, a heal over time effect. And then I have one instant heal healing one, which is plus 20 health. Is that right? I'm assuming that gives us 20 health back rather than adding 20 health on to what I already have. But I guess we will figure that out <laughs> soon enough. And I've got a marker. I don't know why I've got a marker over here by Tukey. Uh, You know what? I am almost positive that there is a bear above my village. So let's head this direction and see if we can hopefully not die from to a bear. So when I first started my village, I barely see it because of the snowy hills. Uh, when I first started my village, I had come over here and was chopping some wood and noticed that there was a bear up on this hill, this ridge over here. So let's see if he is still over here. Hey, look at that. I just, <laughs> I'm sitting here looking for a bear and I turn around and there's a freaking box. Still looking for that bear though, because I, don't, I haven't seen him bit. All right, we'll pick up that wooden shovel. What's in this chest? Ooh, potion of strength. 50% more damage. For how long? Two minutes. Yeah, take that and 150 coin. Thank you. That's cool. I have no idea how long that's been sitting there. Ah, there he is right there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get a long range shot on him. Yeah. Is that him there? Yep, there he is, right there. Well, shoot. No, I didn't shoot. That was the problem. Let's follow him here. I'm going to see if I can get a long range shot on him. Hoping this is the same bear. It is the same bear. Hot dog. We got a bear. Woo, doggy. <clears throat> Boy, the crossbow is nice. Let's get our bolts back. There's no other bears. Did we lose a bolt. Let's skin him up and then I'll see if I got that other bolt back. Uh, fur and meat. Bolt. Bolt. Like it's only two right now. Let's see. Maybe it fell. Man, that sucks. Did I lose a bolt already? Oh, there it is right there. Here we go. Right here. Woo! Good. We got our bolt back. Okay, now, whoa, <laughs> I have got to be careful about running off these little rocks here. Now, we need to go get a Wysant. Now, I believe there are a few Wysant over in this area here. And then a Moose, I believe, is over in this area here. So we're going to help here first to try and find... Uh, a Wysant? Well, you know what? Let's go sell our stuff real quick. Let's put that away. Oh, put that away. Hello there. Hello there. Whatever you, you need, you still have money it. left? You have a little bit of money left. Uh, I want to see. Can, let's see. Can I sell this? Will you buy this? You will buy that. Good. How about this bow? Good. These boots? Good. 
Uh, what else did I want to sell? For hood, do you have enough? Yes, you do. And these joined toes to 30, you don't have enough. Is there something else? No. I could sell you that wooden shovel because I got a ton of wooden shovels. Okay, we'll have to sell uh, the joined hose to somebody else because she doesn't have enough money. Other than that, that's pretty good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Lubomira. Uh, we're just going to come over here and kind of jump the fence. Uh, let's get the crossbow back out again. Load it. You know what? I'm fixing to have to load it again. Eat. Food. No. I lost like seven health falling off that rock. I started to run too soon. Alright, let's see. Is that a Wysant right there? Oh, it is a Wysant right there. Let's see if we can get another long range shot. Did I hit him? He did. Okay, that's two. Assuming I hit him. Oh, is that him over there? Did he die? Stay over there, buddy. I think he's dead. <laughs> two shots and he bled out. Hot dog. Damn, this is this is nice. I think I may have lost one of my uh, my bolts. I got two total. I got one back from that. Dang it. Uh, I wonder if I could find where I shot him the first time. What? Let's go back into here. Make sure that I have all of those. those all of those. <laughs> those two equipped. Where I shot him at. Don't want to get too close to that other one. Ah, there it is right there. Hot dog. Right there. Woo. Got it back. Good. Make sure it's equipped. Every time I re-equip that, I gotta re-equip it on my crossbow. There we go. Okay, so now we want to head over here-ish <clears throat> and see if there's any moose over there. Whoa! What did I... Oh, I must have gotten something. Oh, I bet I got points from uh, my guy working the farm. So we got the goose building open. Man, my throat has really been bugging me lately. Allergies or something. So I apologize for... Any rude noises. Alrighty, so I am, since I need to be bathing anyway, I am literally just going to cut right across the water here. We'll hit that little island. I'll see if there's anything on that island for us to pick up. And maybe head off over that direction, because I believe there is a moose that spawns over there. And see if we can get that for our quest. Oh, and there's nothing under this tree, so we're on the little island out here in the middle of the river here. And a lot of times under this tree will be a, a shovel and a pile of stone. If you remove the one one of the stones, uh, there'll be a bag of coins under it. But I did not have it this time. So let's head over here and see if we can find us a moose. There's a moose right there. Two, two of them. Is that a third one over there? There's a third one right there. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this one. Now oh, that was a bad shot. Get a shot earlier. But they're bleeding.
don't know if that male moose is aggressive or not, but if I can get around to get a headshot. Okay. Three shots in the butt, but that worked. <laughs> Alrighty. Two iron bolts there. Let's get this guy up. Gal, I, I should say. Some iron bolts. And there I'm pretty sure I only got two back yeah I only got two back I tell you what those iron bolts are nice all right so let's kind of backtrack over here see if I can maybe find another bolt I don't know if I'm gonna find it we traveled a pretty big area oh wait there it is There it is. Right there. Yay, I got my third one back. Okay, very good. So that we got all of those equipped. Put one back in the chamber there. And then let's go back up to that camp that we found. Where was that at? Here it is, right up here. Don't worry, little bunny. I'm not coming after you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Here, what do we got? We got a wicker basket. Sack. Linen fabric. Two wool fabric. Okay. Wool thread. Oh, we'll take all of that. Six. Stone. Bucket. We'll take the bucket. Let's see. What else? in the barrel. Nine rot. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. That was a sack. Coverlet. And a long fur hood. Just sold a fur hood. Anything in the bag? No. Hair. Another iron axe. A toppled bench. Oh. Oh, firewood, I'll take all that firewood. Wait, what's that? Five iron arrow. Oh, and a recurve bow? Yep, we'll take that. Alright. Got that. Inside, since there seems to be stuff inside the tents. Anything else? I think we emptied that sack. Yep. Oh wait, there's another barrel. Oh man, more tree seedlings? I still haven't planted the tree seedlings. <laughs> I've got. I've got to do that. I've been trying to wait to get some more of the buildings up and maybe figure out how I want to set up that center area in my village before I started planting trees. There we go. Alrighty, so we at. Alrighty, so I think what we're gonna do real quick is we are. Oh, uh, I was gonna go and get this scythe from Ida for the Unigos story two, which you can see there on the right hand side of the screen. But because Unigos is so long winded, every time I talk to him, <laughs> it takes a whole day. I think I'm going to wait. I don't think I need to be cramming something like that into the end of a video. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to call. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Oh, a freaking pig. I need a hush. That's it? Oh, that shuts you up, but now you're going to go the other way? <laughs> he scared the heck out of me. All right, come here. I've already shot you. I want my. Oh hell, I totally missed him on that one. I thought he was going to juke back to the left. Bow, or bow, but bolt. Bowling. Stopped him in his tracks. Alright, let's get that stuff back. Oh, not sure what that was. What was that? Oh! 
Put up your dukes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, that's the first time I've seen that. That's kind of cool, I guess. It could block a punch or something, I guess. Okay, let's pull this back. Equip my bolts again. Rose, bolt. Two. Two iron. Like I lost the first one I shot at him or something? Now I don't remember where he was standing when I first shot him. Dang it. Where's that camp? Pretty sure. I thought he was like right over here when I first shot him. I don't see the blood stain. Well, oh, there's that camp. Is that the camp? Is that another camp? It's the same camp, right? Not another one. I've already emptied. Okay. So we had headed back this way. And the piggy scared the heck out of me. Right over here somewhere. I may have just lost that bolt. Dang it. Not that, it, not that it's that big of a deal, but I kind of wanted it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're going to call this an episode. We will continue the Unigos story probably in the next episode. We're looking for that bolt open. But if you folks are liking these, definitely hit that like button. Uh, I have already looted that cart that you can see ahead. That was one of the carts that I looted. I'm pretty sure I looted it. Double check it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I remember seeing it, but I didn't loot it because it only had like a torch, the plank, and the stone axe. That's why I didn't loot it. Now I looted it. There we go. Alrighty, folks. If you folks are liking these, definitely hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.